Hello Scorpio Soul Travellers and welcome to your reading for the 31st of October until the 6th of November. It's going to be a general one so please take what resonates and discard the rest. Let's welcome in now the beautiful high frequency archangels, ascended masters, light beings and spirit guides to assist us with this reading. And of course our higher selves. And uh, we're just going to grab a couple of cards now for the centre of your reading and here we have the Hermit. For you Scorpio has just jumped out and yeah so you might be taking some time out for something or some time away from something or someone or a situation or environment okay um, let's just grab another card for the center there okay you have the five of wands this has just popped out as well so this is always an energy of you know um, Scorpio I think you might be maybe this has been a busy time Maybe you've been working hard at honing your skills and abilities here um, and you're kind of wanting some time out or or that, you know, you are look you are in this phase and you're looking to sort of get into some, um, uh, I guess, you know, some honing your skills with like-minded people. Uh, yeah, let's see what other energies are coming in around this as well. And, um, yeah. Okay, so you have the Page of Wands underneath here. Okay, so that's a new spiritual venture. So maybe you're involved with this five and uh, here and you're looking to do something a little bit different from whatever the, that is. And maybe you're having doubts about that at the moment and you're kind of, um, yeah, wondering whether you might take some time out from it. And here from the past you have the page of pentacles. So two page energies, okay, um, so new beginnings. So I'm feeling like maybe you are trying things out at the moment, Scorpio, to see what sticks. Let's grab another card for the top there. Okay, that one's flipped. We have the eight of cups. And yeah, so again, uh, moving away from something that's not fulfilling and moving into something that might be a little more fulfilling for you. Um, the pages are, you know, typically the number like 11 which is to, um, this is your opportunity here, the emperor, the empress, okay. So moving into something that's um, grounding and nurturing. Um, so the pages are, you know, kind of like as we extend the numerology on it's the number 11, okay. Um, and, and your 11th house sort of deals with social awareness groups, um, you know, hopes and wishes and, and generally for the future here. So I think Scorpio, you are kind of, um, moving into some ventures um, and you're kind of looks like you're creating your future in a in a new way here and the empress is you know i think you're moving into um uh yeah maybe some earth connection something very practical um my right, current energy here is the three of swords yeah so there's some healing and there's also um your current energy is also i guess helping you or nudging you towards this looking at the connection between your feelings and your thoughts and that I guess if we make decisions that are not in alignment with our heart okay eventually the thoughts um, might sort of come in to counteract that because the, our thoughts are you know can basically if we're not aligned with our heart and what we truly want to do then there can be some you know the negative thinking starts to um eventuate there uh if that resonates um but the other the other thing can happen is if we're working in a heart-centered way okay we are aligning with our heart and our passion then generally the thought the thoughts that go along with that are generally more um conducive to the continuance of that um, and here we have in your environment the Ten of Cups. So it could be that people around you are, you know, feeling fulfilled and oh, that they seem like they are fulfilled to you uh, emotionally. And maybe you are, it's interesting, isn't it? Because this queen here is the same as the Empress. This is almost like the Emperor and the Empress. Uh, yeah, it's like an Emperor and Empress sort of figures here. Um so, you know, or maybe you have, you know, um, high goals or high aspirations here, Scorpio. Let's grab another card for a goal or a challenge. Yeah, a goal is the sun. And I think this is to do with your confidence here and your alignment with your happiness and feeling like, you know, like the world's your oyster. Um, at the moment, I think you're dealing with some sort of 
conflict or busyness or honing your skills, but you're kind of um, not, it's like you, there's a part of this that's not agreeing with you possibly, or there's something else in your life that you're looking to move away from. And this could be um, what the situation is here, uh, Scorpio, is that there's something that you're moving away from here because you perhaps are wanting to move into this. Um, excuse me. And I think this is going to be something that's new for you. So I just had a couple of sneezing fits. Um, so, yeah, I mean, whichever of those sort of scenarios resonates there for you. Um, let's grab another card, final card here. Um, for you, Scorpio. Okay, the King of Pentacles. Um, right, so this is your uh the final card um and it's sort of like you know the best course of action so this is about taking those slow um small steps to build your abundance to create the life that you want and it's about building for the long term here scorpio uh so let's look at the bottom of the deck here wow three of cups Okay, so we have um, Wand Energy. You have an Eight of Cups here. But I think maybe, you know, for you, Scorpio, it's also a case of, you know, I have the Ten and the Three, but maybe there's um, some other, like maybe there's some another ingredient in your life which is to do with just finding, you know, like a friend group or a couple of people that you can hang out with and have some good times or what or what this means for you. Like, to have fun, what what would that look like for you, okay? And, you know, it's basically really working out what your fun vibe is, your environment that you like to go to, the people you'd like to hang out with, and what is enjoyable for you, okay? And maybe this is, maybe this is what you're looking at here as well, Scorpio, because you're wanting your Ten of Cups here. This is in your radar. You can see this. This might be other people that are experiencing this. However, your current energy is, you know, the heart with the swords. So the heart is typically in the tarot represents the cups, okay? And here you have the ten of cups. So at the moment, I guess what's happening is that your thoughts and your heart are possibly not, not perhaps aligning um, in terms of maybe this is a work reading or relationship reading or a lifestyle reading, okay, that... If you are not feeling happy about something, then it's about acknowledging the feelings, okay? Um, so, you know, if this is something here that you're not happy about, even though you're honing your skills, um, there could be a lot of, you know, confusion and maybe there's competition and there's egos involved here. If this situation, um, you know, is not, I guess, emotionally fulfilling for you, it's about really acknowledging that and maybe taking some time out to really work out what it is that does make your heart sing here. Because, um, yeah, or what the ingredient, um, what you need to do to align your thoughts and your feelings. And that's not about, you know, if you find that something is difficult and you're not having positive feelings about it, it's not forcing yourself to do things that are that are not really aligned with what your passion is, okay? Um, it's more about, I guess, here being open and receptive and doing some self-care and some self-nurturing here, maybe spending some time um, with yourself, which is what the hermit is doing here, okay? Just spending some time to yourself <clears throat> because it's interesting that, you know, what's likely to occur is that you might find that these cups here, they may be okay, but you are wanting more than that, okay? And this could be what's, what's happening here because as we go around the reading, you have like something that you are that you know about, that you are passionate, that you're kind of wanting to move into. And this is a new a new project or a new creative thing. So maybe these energies are joining together. And 
what it's kind of looking like is that uh, that you are most likely going to be moving towards these things, but that there will be simultaneously a, a little bit of a letting go or an easing up on maybe attachment or connection with something else in your life. Okay, and it could well be that these are not as emotionally fulfilling as perhaps you first thought they may be, those cups there. Because this is what this is looking like here, your current energy. There's something that is not emotionally fulfilling for you in your life, whether that's family, friends, um, you know, romantic partner. Um, it could be a work situation or a hobby or a recreation group or, or anything or an interest, okay? Um, because I feel like this, the, the main card of your reading, which is on the bottom of the deck, is this. I mean, you're looking to really find what aligns with your heart space here. You know, um, Scorpio, just really look into what is emotionally fulfilling for you. Okay. Um, because, you know, I think you have a lot of positive support around you. But even though in your environment this is um, visible to you, it doesn't mean that you have to run straight towards this at the expense of, if this is, you know, success, this could be success, um, you know, family success, uh, you know, and maybe it is an emotionally um, fulfilling work as well. Um, don't run towards this at the expense of ignoring your own heart space here and what rings true for you, okay? Because just because other people have done it this way doesn't mean you have to do it that way or that what they are doing is what you should do because it's worked for them, okay? Okay. Um, it's really about honouring yourself and everyone is an individual, okay, um, because you are wanting, you know, this confidence and happiness and joy and it's interesting that we have three people here and we have three people here, okay. So it might even be that, you know, maybe you can work with some other people that are on the same page um, and that, you know, this is you're wanting to create the life that you want this is an abundant life here for you Scorpio um, I mean you are fixed water and that's really great because you have an ability to move into flow but you also have this ability to be grounded in what you're doing okay um, which is kind of what the king of pentacles is is like as well um, you know he's actually this Capricorn energy of slow building okay um, step by step so, yeah, let's clarify a couple of things. <coughs> we are going to clarify the Three of Swords first of all. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, tight shuffle. Well, that one. Okay, we did have a card jump out, and that's interesting because I didn't see it fall out uh, straight away. Wow. Queen, uh, High Priestess. <clears throat> so wow Scorpio <clears throat> here it is in black and white literally and that is that yes go within to really find out what is emotionally um, in alignment for you because it's not going to be that comfortable for you to you know go through life like that where you are feeling one thing or your heart really wants something and your mind is telling you that you can't have it or um, that you are having positive feelings or that you that you would like to have more positive feelings but your mind is telling you that you know you're not allowed to or you need to do this this and this um, you know obviously we are multifaceted beings and it's not that we just work in our lives that's not the only thing we do okay um, there are things like hobbies and interests and what we do with our downtime, okay, and the relationships that we have and the people that we hang out with. So this is about you looking after your emotional well-being here. Okay, Scorpio, and if there's something that's, you know, not fulfilling anymore that you're needing to move away from, it's really about kind of, you know, finding the support, getting the positive vibes happening for yourself so that you can start probably possibly even, you know, small steps, you know, start doing that um, so that you can work towards long term. But this is about, you know, really intuiting, going within here. The high priestess is 
Um, you are very intuitive, Scorpio, anyway, because you're a, you know, you're a water sign. Really activate that. And here your hermit is front and center. Take the time out by yourself to do that. Okay, it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing, what anyone else is thinking. Um, it's sort of like you really need to start working out what's true for you, for your heart resonance there. Um, if that resonates, okay. If it's something that you felt like you have wanting to that you wanted to do to take some time out for yourself, then this reading could be confirmation for that, okay? Um, let's clarify the Ten of Cups there as well, Spirit, because I feel like that's an energy that's around you. Okay. Ace of Swords. This is about getting some clarity on this. Um, so this might be, you know, if this is success, what would... It might be about the spirit saying, you know, yeah, perhaps you get clear on what you want your emotional relationships to look like. What would emotional fulfillment mean for you and how would you want to be feeling on a daily basis? Okay. Once again, we have the sword of personal truth here. You know, what is going to ring true for you? What are your values? You know, um, in what environments and with what people and doing what activities make you feel happy and fulfilled okay um because that is what's going to lead to this awesome life here okay so um yeah let's also clarify let's just clarify the center there that five of wands okay jump straight out the seven of wands so and what's fascinating to me is that, okay, we have the five here. So you could be involved in this. But it's almost like you are perhaps going to be stepping away from this melee, possibly. And you're going to be, you know, standing your ground here and just going, well, I'm going to do this now or something else. And here we have the interesting little page of wands here. Uh, seven of wands holding a wand. So the page is holding, this page is holding one too. And the interesting thing is that he's wearing a green cloak and this is a green lizard. So there's, and synchronicities here. Um, and it's like there's positivity to be found here because there are blue skies, okay. And it's about you, Scorpio, kind of really just tuning into what your passion is. Okay, and this is a newness here, a page. So, and um, yeah, there's something about this that's, you know, perhaps not, um, that's not conducive for you at the moment because, you know, you're looking to kind of move out of that, possibly. Or... You're going from your hermit phase into this um, five of wands. And in order to do that, you really need to be perhaps, you know, being being yourself. Um, or maybe it could be that, you know, you are, you have, maybe you have more skills and abilities than these other people in this particular area of whatever. And you are going to be sort of standing um, above them in some way or maybe you're going to be managing them um let's clarify the empress here this reading's gone on long hasn't it well the empress yeah six of uh wands success here so this is abundance as well so there's definitely if you're moving away from something that's less abundant for you emotionally there is an opportunity there's going to be an opportunity for you to move into more abundance here Scorpio and you will be getting some recognition and some success and not only that if you can move into this abundance it's going to lead to uh, this ten of cups here because this figure is here and th that particular queen is also in this card the sun here so you're going to be gaining lots of confidence and, you know, um, gaining your Ten of Cups. If you can move away what's un from what's unfulfilling into what is fulfilling, okay, um, yeah, that makes sense. Um, 
Hmm. There could be two people here that are um, that are that are supporting you at the moment. Okay. Um, let's just clarify the King of Pentacles to finish off. Okay, the King of Pentacles is beautifully clarified by, I'm just going to take the top one for a time's sake, um, the Eight of Pentacles. And this is about you, yes, Scorpio, finding what's, um, you know, mind, body, spirit, what's passionately aligning for you and slowly, step by step, building, building up here. Okay, and it could be doing something creative, practical with, with your hands, okay, um, or working at anything that, that you enjoy there um so um that's what i have for you for today scorpio hope that's been helpful and uh yeah look forward to our next reading in the meantime have a great day and a great week and i'll see you again soon Bye.